Animate CC has two WebGL GLTF options available. Choosing the standard option allows integration with 3.js, Babylon.js, or any of the standard GLTF playback packages and is completely standards compliant. Here we have a basic animation of a koala moving with a sword. We can create content for this new platform in very much the same way we do when targeting Flash Player or HTML5 Canvas. Let's have a look at the publish settings. This is a WebGL GLTF standard file. In our publish settings, we can provide an output name and location, and we can choose what format to output, either a GLB file or GLTF. Here we can specify image resolution and whether to remove white spaces in the JSON file to reduce file size. The standard choices apply here of looping the timeline or not and including hidden layers. I'm going to put the output name as Koala and hit publish. There we go, it's been published for us. So here I've gone to sandbox.babylonjs.com. This allows us to drop any GLTF or GLB files onto this standards compliant playback. Looking within where I publish this stuff, if we go into Assets and then Koala, Scene 1, I can find the GLB file that was created. Let's go ahead and drop this directly onto the playback. And there's our Koala. Now, whereas the WebGL GLTF standard does play back in standards compliant playbacks, it does have its limitations. For example, we have this particular animation here in which we play and we see the little man and he's dancing. Now, let's go ahead and publish a GLB file for this animation as well. Here, we're not going to include hidden layers and publish. Okay, popping back over to the Babylon.js playback. There we have our old man, except you'll notice here that his foot isn't exactly attached to his ankle anymore, and there are some additional layering issues. It's important to know that you'll see these type of issues as support is evolving. You can, however, circumvent this by using many of the existing functionalities in Animate by doing something like a break apart or converting to bitmap instead of using a transformative skew, which is what's causing this particular problem. Now here's the same animation using WebGL GLTF extended. As the name implies, we've extended the functionality of GLTF in the GLTF extended document type. The extended version is more specific to Animate CC, focused on advanced animation with interactivity filter support, and includes transformations like skew that cause such a problem with his foot in the standard version. Let's go ahead and test this out. Control, test. And there he is. When published with Animate, you'll see the result being smooth animation.